Chapter 19 The second allotment of land went to the families of the tribe of Simeon. Their inheritance was surrounded by Judah's territory. Simeon's inheritance included Beersheba, Sheba, Molada, Hazar Shual, Bela, Izem, El Tolad, Bethul, Homa, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebaoth, and Sharuhen, thirteen towns with their villages. It also included Ain, Rimon, Ether, and Ashan, four towns with their villages, including all the villages as far south as Balath Beir, also known as Rama of the Negev. This was the inheritance of the families of the tribe of Simeon. Their inheritance came from part of what had been given to Judah because Judah's territory was too large for them. So the tribe of Simeon received an inheritance within the territory of Judah. The third allotment of land went to the families of the tribe of Zebulun. The boundary of Zebulun's inheritance started at Serid. From there it went west, going past Marala, touching Dabesheth, and proceeding to the brook east of Jokneam. In the other direction, the boundary line went east from Serid to the border of Kisloth Tebor, and from there to Debarath and up to Jephiah. Then it continued east to Gathefer, Ethkezin, and Rimon, and turned toward Nia. The northern boundary of Zebulun passed Hanathon and ended at the valley of Iftael. The towns in these areas included Keta, Nahalal, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem twelve towns with their surrounding villages. This was the inheritance of the families of the tribe of Zebulun. The fourth allotment of land went to the families of the tribe of Issachar. Its boundaries included the following towns, Jezreel, Kesuloth, Shunem, Hafaraim, Shion, Hanahara, Rabith, Kesheon, Ibez, Rimeth, En-Ganim, en and beth Pazez. Boundary also touched Tabor, Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh, ending at the Jordan River, sixteen towns with their surrounding villages. This was the inheritance of the families of the tribe of Issachar. The fifth allotment of land went to the families of the tribe of Asher. Its boundaries included these towns Helkath, Helai, Biten, Akshaf, Alamelech, Emad, and Mishal. The boundary on the west went from Carmel to Shaihor Libnath, turned east toward Beth Dagon, and ran as far as Zebulun in the valley of Iftael, running north to Beth Yemek and Neyel. It then continued north to Kabul, Abdon, Rehob, Hamon, Kena, and as far as Greater Sidon. Then the boundary turned toward Rema and the fortified city of Tyre and came to the Mediterranean Sea at Hosa. The territory also included Mihibel, Aksib, Uma, Afek, and Rehob, 22 towns with their surrounding villages. This was the inheritance of the families of the tribe of Asher. The sixth allotment of land went to the families of the tribe of Naphtali. Its boundary ran from Hilef, from the oak at Zeananim, and extended across to Adamai Nikeb, Jabnil, and as far as Lekum, ending at the Jordan River. The western boundary ran past Asnoth Tebor, then to Hakok, and touched the boundary of Zebulun in the south, the boundary of Asher on the west, and the Jordan River on the east. The fortified cities included in this territory were Zidim, Zir, Hamath, Rekath, Kinereth, Adama, Rema, Hazor, Kidesh, Idrei, Enhezor, Yaron, Migdal El, Horem, Bethenath, and Beth Shemesh. Nineteen cities were their surrounding villages. This was the inheritance of the families of the tribe of Naphtali. The seventh and last allotment of land went to the families of the tribe of Dan. The towns within Dan's inheritance included Zora, Eshtaol, Ir Shemesh, Sha'al Labin, Aijalon, Ithla, Ilon, Tibna, Ikron, Elteke, Gibethon, Be'alath, Jihud, Bene Barak, Gathrimon, and Mejarkon also Rakon, along with the territory across from Joppa. But the tribe of Dan had trouble taking possession of their land, so they fought against the town of Laish. They captured it, slaughtered its people, and settled there. They renamed the city Dan after their ancestor. This was the inheritance of the families of the tribe of Dan, these towns with their villages. After all the land was divided among the tribes, the Israelites gave a special piece of land to Joshua as his inheritance. 
for the Lord had said he could have any town he wanted. He chose Timnath Serah in the hill country of Ephraim. He rebuilt the town and lived there. These are the territories that Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the tribal leaders gave as an inheritance to the tribes of Israel by casting sacred lots in the presence of the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle at Shiloh. So the division of the land was completed.